know that this is all alleged. I've never met any of these people. I've deeply researched all of my information. This is a trigger warning. In this video, I may be talking about or showing sensitive material about some subjects or topics that may be disturbing or upsetting or may bring forth some troubling memories, as you read in the description or title. With that said, either in the video now or brace yourself. Aside from that, enjoy. Let's talk about it. I gotta address something. For all y'all in the comments getting nasty with me, talking about I'm a race traitor, I'm a, I'm a betrayal to my race, all that crap. Let me tell y'all something. Just because Kamala Harris is black and happens to be a Democrat does not mean that she is the best choice to be president of the United States. Well, you know, if my face is here and Rico Sparks TV's video was there, you know how this is about to go, right? Now, that was just the introduction to his video. I'm going to rip him a new asshole because of the rest of his video. Let's take a look. Y'all yeah, need to go back and look at her track record. You remember Oscar Grant? Yeah, Oscar Grant, Fruit Real Station, the 20-something-year-old kid that got killed by a policeman. She was district attorney at the time, 2004 to 2011. Yeah, where that cop got that sweet, sweet deal of a whole year for getting away with cold-blooded murder. So what does that tell y'all? Come on, stop thinking with this. And think with this. Now, I want you all to pay very special attention to the way he ended that video. When he said, stop thinking with this and start thinking with this. And you be sure and tag him in this video. Because I'm about to give him a lesson in research over me search. Let's get it. This is 22-year-old Oscar Grant. And in 2009... He was shot by a police officer in Oakland, California, while he was standing on a train platform. Oakland, California is in Alameda County. Now, pay attention to details. Because in 2004, Kamala Harris was elected the district attorney of San Francisco, the county. And San Francisco County is not... Almeda County, and she served in this capacity from 2004 to 2010. See, here's the thing. If you all didn't spend so much time choking on two glizzies, the glizzy of your misogyny and the glizzy of white supremacist talking points, you may have enough time to do some research to keep yourself from looking like a fool when you take the glizzies out of your mouth long enough to spew incorrect facts. You see, because San Francisco is both a city and a county. And San Francisco Bay Area includes nine different counties. And, and those counties are listed here. And district attorneys are elected to counties in this situation. And you will see that Almeda is one of the counties that the Bay Area covers, and San Francisco County is another county that the Bay Area covers. Now, the shooting of Oscar Grant happened in Almeda County, and the district attorney at the time of the investigation and the incident that led to the district attorney's office filing charges against the officer who shot Oscar Grant was Tom Orloff. Now, Tom Orloff stepped down and retired prior to the trial of the officer who shot Oscar Grant went to trial. And the appointed district attorney to take his place was Nancy O'Malley here. And she is the one who prosecuted the case against the officer who was charged with involuntary manslaughter. Does this look like Kamala Harris? Now, Kamala Harris served in the Almeda District Attorney's Office from 1990 to 1998, more than a decade before the shooting of Oscar Grant. And then she served as Assistant District Attorney before leaving to go work in the San Francisco District Attorney's Office. <sighs> Stop thinking with this and think with this. 
Yep, he said that with his full chest after making a video that didn't have one ounce of relative truth in it about Kamala Harris. You all be sure to tag him in this video and anyone else that you have seen with this misinformation and their response will let us know if they are just stuck on stupid and can be taught better or if they have fully embraced the glizzy of white supremacy and they are a rocky raccoon. Now, do you understand the assignment? Let's get it. Let's begin with the Secret Service agents. Watch how quickly they move people out of the way and take cover before the shots are fired. To our country, probably 20 million people. And you know, that's a little bit old, that chart. That chart's a couple of months old. And if you uh, want to really see something that said, take a look at what happened. source tells me the FBI is looking to interview former President Donald Trump. Shrapnel that, you know, that hit his ear. Former President Donald Trump was not happy with that remark, posting on Truth, Truth Social, quote, the FBI never checked. It was, unfortunately, a bullet that hit my ear and hit it hard. There was no glass. There was no shrapnel. The guy was shot. He's, he's bleeding with his out of his ear. You can see him when he's down for the count, down, down on the ground, making sure he doesn't get shot again. I, it's unbelievable that they would come up with this scenario. Why isn't the FBI director just saying the president was shot? Now let's talk about how did the gun get on the roof? How did the how did mm. the shooter get on the roof? Those are the types of questions America wants to know because we want to make sure it never ever happens again. Instead, they're playing these little games, trying to distract from the fact that the Secret Service failed to do its job. And that's the point, Tammy, that the questions being asked, it, it's not about these details. It's about how did this happen and how can we prevent it from happening beginning now? And look, so that comment, which effectively encourages a conspiracy theory, becomes the conversation. And even in the statement afterwards, resulted in injury. Wow. Oh, it's like he tripped. Yeah. He, it's like, they, remember the original headlines were Trump falls. Donald Trump may have lied about being shot by a bullet at his rally because here is the director of the FBI, Christopher Wray, testifying under oath that they have not concluded whether or not Donald Trump was hit with a bullet or with a piece of shrapnel. Take a listen. I think with, uh, with respect to former President Trump, um, there's, it, there's some question about whether or not uh, it's a bullet or shrapnel that, you know, that hit his ear. So it's, it's conceivable, although as I sit here right now, I don't know whether that bullet, in addition to you know, causing the grazing, could have also landed somewhere else. Um, but I believe we've accounted for all of the shots and the cartridges. You just heard the FBI director testify under oath that the FBI cannot conclude that Donald Trump was struck by a bullet, despite the fact that Donald Trump himself has repeatedly claimed that he took a bullet for democracy, despite him inciting an insurrection to overturn our democracy. Nevertheless, there is no evidence to suggest that Donald Trump was struck by a bullet, and we should not believe him when he tells us that until the investigation conducted by the FBI is concluded. theorist, but it seems really convenient that at a time when those Epstein files came out, 
shortly thereafter the events in Pennsylvania took place. Now, I'm not saying that they aren't legit, but what I am saying is do not forget these fucking names. Do not forget these children, some as young as 10. Do not forget that these files exist. These files that are credible allegations of rape, essay, and torture at the hands of Donald Trump. Trigger warning before I read this one excerpt. If this is not enough for you to understand why this man has no business being in any position of fucking power, I don't know what will. During the course of the savage attack, Plaintiff Johnson pleaded with Defendant Trump to please wear a condom. Trump responded by violently striking Johnson across the face with his open hand, screaming he would do whatever he wanted and refused to wear protection. Katie Johnson in tears asked what would happen if he impregnated her. He grabbed his wallet and threw money at her, screaming, get a fucking abortion. Katie was 13 years old. <laughs>